पेपर नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन पेपर नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन ऑनवर्ड्स थर्टी वन टू थर्टी फाइव वट इज इन्फॉर्मेशन हियर नौ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन टू थर्टी फाइव इट इज बेस्ड ऑन फ्लोर अरेंजमेंट एट पीपल ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एंड एच लिव ऑन एट डिफरेंट फ्लोर ऑफ ए बिल्डिंग बट नॉट ने इन द सेम ऑर्डर एस वट इज इन्फॉर्मेशन हियर वे आर सम एट फ्लोर एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू एंड वन एट फ्लोर एंड द लोअर मोस्ट फ्लोर ऑफ द बिल्डिंग इज नंबर वन द वन अब दैट इज नंबर टू एंड सो ऑन टिल द टॉप मोस्ट फ्लोर इज नंबर एट देन इन दिस वन बी लिवस ऑन एन ऑर्ड नंबर फ्लोर एज बी लिवस ऑन एन ऑर्ड नंबर फ्लोर टेल मी वॉट आर द पॉसिबिलिटीज टू दिस बी बी कुड बी एजर वन थ्री फाइव सेवन एंड देर आर फोर पॉसिबिलिटीज टू दिस बी बिकॉज दिस बी लिवस ऑन एन ऑर्ड नंबर फ्लोर एंड ओनली थ्री पीपल लिव बिटवीन बी एंड डी As only three people live between B and D, then let us check out the possibility. If B is here, one, two, three, D will be here. That is one possibility, isn't it? Then B could be either one, three, five, seven. Now B is at the first place. Then fifth place is ruled out because B and D most and these two persons must be on the odd number floor only, isn't it? And R, what is other possibility here? If B on the seventh floor. Isn't it? B on the seventh floor. Then, if you take B at this floor, one, two, three, and D will be here. As of now, we are considering these two from the experiments. One, seven. Next, if it is invariant, then we will take three and five. Then B lives on an odd number floor, and only three people live between B and D. D lives immediately above the floor on which G lives. D is immediately above the floor on which G lives. Hence, G will be here, and D lives immediately one of the floors above this G lives. And A lives on an odd number floor above G. A is on an odd number floor above G. The word immediate is not given. A lives on an odd number floor above G. Hence, in this one, now this is the only possibility to this A. Now, in this case also, five is already completed, and then A must be on the seventh floor. And only three people live between A and C. Between A and C, how many persons are there? There must be exactly three persons. And in case one, C must be on the first floor. And only three people between A and C. C must be on the third floor. And only three people between A and C. H lives on one of the floors above A. H is on one of the floors above A. Now, in case two, H must be on the eighth floor. And in case one, H can be either on the sixth floor or on the eighth floor. H lives on one of the floors above A, but not on the topmost floor. Hence, H cannot be on the eighth floor. H must be on the sixth floor. And the second possibility is ruled out because H is on the eighth floor. F lives on one of the floors below H. F is on one of the floors below H. F is here. Then who is the person left over here? E is the person left over, and this E must be on the eighth floor. Now this is how these five persons were, eight persons were seated, living on eight different floors. Then question number thirty-one. Which of the following statements is true as per the given arrangement? Only two people live between B and G. Yes. What can we say about this one? Only two people live between B and G is. False because between B and G, how many persons are there? There are four persons between B and G. That is false. And G only only three people live above H S floor. Only three people live above H S floor. Now, how many persons are living above H S floor? Only two persons, but not three. Choice three is also ruled out. A lives on floor number seven. A is on floor number seven is false because A is on floor number five. And C lives on an odd number floor. And C lives on the first floor. It is an odd number floor. So I's five is the answer. Then coming to question number thirty-two. Then who among the following lives on floor number seven? As tell me who is the person living on floor number seven? B. B that is given to I's five. Then question number thirty-three. Who among the following lives immediately above A's floor? Immediately above A's floor. Who is that person here? H living on the sixth floor. That is so I's three. Then question number thirty-four. On which are the following floors? G lives on which are the following floors? As tell me, G lives on which floor? Second floor. G lives on floor number two. That is choice three. Then question number that is five. Four of the following five. It is nothing but an odd man out. B and F. Between B and F, how many persons are there? There are two persons. And between C and H, how many persons are there? There are four persons. Here in between these two, two. Here in between these two, four. H and D. 
Now between H and D, there are two persons, A and G. Now in between A and G, again there are two persons, and E and A, there are two persons, except in choice two. And in the remaining choices, there are exactly two persons between these two. But as in choice two, there are four persons living in between. Then question numbers 36 to 40. These five questions are based on a sequence. Now in the sequence, which of the following is 11th to the left of? Now the question is about what? 11th to the left of, 17th from the left end. Now, sir, what are the directions here? Left and left. As both the directions are same, then we should subtract between these two. 17 minus 11 is 6. Finally, 6 letter from the left hand, 6 element from the left hand side, 3, 4, 5. And the 6 element from the left hand side, that is given in choice 2. Clear now? Then question number 37. Now in this question number 37, how many such letters are there? Now the question is about a letter. In the given arrangement, each of which is immediately followed by a symbol, letter followed by a symbol and immediately preceded by a number. As yes, what is the sequence here? Number, letter and symbol should be the sequence. Number, letter and symbol, 7 cannot be that one number. Next one, what is the next number here? Number 3. This number is not followed by a letter and 3 is also ruled out. Next one. 8 is followed by a letter, but it is not followed by a symbol, there is also ruled out. And 6 is not followed by a letter, and now, sir, 5T and copyright. 5 is what? 5 is number, followed by letter T, and followed by copyright. It is a symbol. Again, 9 and letter is there, but which it is not followed by a symbol. 4, it is not followed by letter. Hence, how many are there of such type? There is only one such letter, immediately preceded by a number, and followed by a symbol. Then question number 38, if all the numbers are dropped from the arrangement, all the numbers are dropped from the arrangement, then which of the following will be 13th element from the right end? Now we need to find out the 13th element from the right end without the numbers. Without the numbers 13th from the right end, now so start counting here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. What is your answer here? Beta and it is given in choice 2. 38 it is choice 2, question number 39, 4 of the following 5, 4 of the following 5 is nothing but an odd man out, now in this odd man out, then N8 and percentage, N8 and percentage tell me what is the relation among these 3 elements, N and 8, N to 8 minus 1 and N to 8 percentage 1, 2, 3 plus 3, hence minus 1 plus 3 is the relation between these 2 elements in the first term, then coming to the second one, Q and P, now Q plus and P, now q and plus 1, 2, minus 2, isn't it? q and plus it is minus 2, plus and p, plus and p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 6, minus 2, plus 6. Then r and hash, r and hash it is minus 1, and hash and g, 1, 2, 3, plus 3. Then what is your answer here? Here it is minus 1, plus 3, here also minus 1, plus 3, but where is in choice it is minus 2, plus 6, that is the odd one. And in the remaining terms also you will definitely have minus 1 plus 3, minus 1 plus 3. Then question number 39. Then coming to 40th, what should come in place of the question mark in the given arrangement? As what is the series here? D7 hash. And the next one is R and D7 hash, R and plus. Now this R and plus can be written as R and plus. R and plus. Z, copy, euro, P, 8C dollar, 8C and dollar, then condition number 1, D and R. D and R, how many elements were moving forward here, plus 4? R and Z, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5. And Z and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 6, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. And the next one must be plus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then what is the element here? A is the element. Now among the given choices, A is there in all the given 5 choices. Then coming to the second element, 7 and N. Now between 7 and N, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4. Next one, N and Euro, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5. Next one, Euro and C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 6. And the next one must be plus 7. What is plus 7 here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Isn't it? Then what is the element here? Now C2 plus 7. And C and plus 7. Then what is the element here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is T is the element. Now A and T. Now A and T we have in three choices. Then coming to the last element here, hash and plus. 
now 1 2 3 4 5 plus 5 next one plus and p 1 2 3 4 5 6 plus 6 and the next one and p and dollar 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 plus 7 and the next element must be plus 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then what is the element here plus 4 hence a t 4 that is choice 1 then question number 40 choice 1 then 41 question numbers 41 to 45 these questions are based on syllogisms now in this one all marks are what logically follows all marks are scores all marks are scores can be written like this all these marks are a part of the scores and some marks are percentages some of the marks are percentages can be written like this then all scores uh, scores are marks that is false because all marks are scores is true but as only some of the scores are marks is true but whereas not all scores and some scores are percentages is definitely true this is the intersection of these two and so only conclusion two follows and the second one which follows it is an affirmative conclusion that will be true forever that is choice three then question number 42 now in this question number 42 no leaf is a root no leaf is a root this is leaf and root no leaf is a root and the next one all stems are leaves all the stems are leaves all stems are leaves and no root is a leaf then first one no root is a stem definitely true as of now all leaves are stems that is false because all stems are roots leaves is true but there is only some leaves are stems is true but there is not all then coming to the first one which is a negative conclusion which is true to make this one false now we need to prove its complementary pair tell me what is the complementary pair to this one no root is a stem means now we need to prove some of the roots are stem now tell me whether we can draw root like this or not if you draw root like this then no leaf is a root then what happened to this statement this statement will be false because some of the roots will be leaves some roots or leaves will be true hence no root is a leaf will be false statement invalid alternate diagram cannot be drawn hence this conclusion will be true forever then what is your answer here only conclusion one follows that is choice four question number 42 choice four then question number 43 now in this 43 all chains are links all the chains are links can be written like this all the chains are what all chains are links no linkage a bridge no linkage a bridge means no intersection between link and bridge then what is the first kind of conclusion here no bridge is a chain definitely true and second some chains are bridges that is false then the first conclusion which is true it is a negative conclusion to make this one false now we need to prove it's complementary that is some bridges are chains now tell me whether it is possible to draw like this or not some bridges are chains now this is intersection of between bridge and chain if you draw bridge like this then what happens here no bridge is a chain will be false isn't it statement invalid hence no linkage a bridge will be false because then some of the links will be bridges will be true alternate diagram cannot be done and the previous conclusion will be true forever then coming to the next one some chains are bridges some chains are bridges that's also false now said so if you observe here no bridge is a chain and some chains are bridges these two are complementary pairs as these two are complementary pairs tell me what is the conclusion we are getting here are we getting either or either or we are not getting either or why we are not getting either or because alternate diagram itself is not proven clear you will get either or only when an alternate diagram is proven if you are proving the alternate diagram means you are proving the complementary pair complementary pair is nothing but an affirmative conclusion will be true affirmative conclusion will be true negative conclusion will be false but is whereas here the alternate diagram itself is not proven and this negative conclusion will be true forever hence what is your answer here only conclusion one follows that is choice one then coming to question number 44 now in this question number 44 what is the statement here all exams are test all the exams are test can be written like this all these exams are test then next one all tests are projects and all exams are test and all tests are projects then what is the first conclusion here no project is an exam that is false because all exams are projects some projects are exams is true no project is exam will be false all project are test all test are projects is true all projects are test is false and so neither one nor two that is choice one then coming to question number 45 some news or reports now some news or reports can be written like this news and report some news or reports some reports are called some other reports are called then what is the first conclusion here some news are not reports 
Now these are some news. These are the news which are not reports. So tell me whether it is true or not. Some news which are not reports. These are the news which are not reports. And some news which are not reports is definitely true. And next one. Some cards are not news. Now so these are the cards which are not news here. No card is a news means some cards are not news is also true. And so what happened to this one? Now both these two are negative conclusions and both the negative conclusions followed and in order to make this one false now we need to prove their complementary pairs. What is the complementary pair to this one? Some news are not report means all news are reports. Now all news are reports tell me. Now all news are reports and the next one is all cards are news. All news are reports, all cards are news. Then now sir. No. Now tell me whether I can draw a, a diagram like this or not. Whether the statements are valid or not, tell me here. Some news are reports, isn't it? All news are reports means some news are reports is true or not. And the next one, some reports are cards, all cards are reports. Some cards are reports is also true. Some reports are cards is also true. Both the statements are valid. Now in this one, tell me what happened to this one. All news are, now all news are reports is true. Now some news are not reports, is, the, is it true here? No, that means alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. Then coming to the next one, some cards are not news. Now I have proven a case wherein all the cards are news is true. All cards are news is true, some cards are not news will be false. Alternate diagram proven and this one is false again. Hence for both these two we can draw a single alternate diagram. Hence both the conclusions does not follow. Then what is your answer here? Neither one not true. Clear now? Now this is about question number 45. Then 46 to 50. Now in these question numbers 46 to 50, these questions are based on, based on what? These are based on set of words. Now what are the words given here? Tell me. The words are F U R for act, for act, bid, die. For act, bid, day, and cow are the five words given in this one. Now, in this one, what is the first one? Question number 46. The last alphabet in each of the words is changed to the next alphabet. And how many words will be formed in which two or more vowels will appear? Now, as of now, this is a vowel, and this is a vowel, vowel, and this is a vowel, and this is a vowel. And to each of the last letters, last letter, what happens here? Change it to next term. R will become S, T will become U. D will be E and E will be F and W will be X. Out of which, now in this one there is only one vowel U. Now in this one A and U are the two vowels. In this one B and E are the two vowels and that is it. And so how many words will have two vowels? There are two words which will have two words. That is given in choice one. Clear now? The last letter change it to next letter. By doing so, we are getting two vowels. Then question number 47. If the given words are arranged in the order as they would appear in a dictionary, that is from left hand side to right hand side, they are arranged in an alphabetical order, this will be first one and this will be second and this C will be three, D will be four and this F will be five. Now this is the order. Then from left to right, which of the following will be second from the right? Second from the, first from the right is five, second from the right is the fourth one. What is the fourth one here? D, Y, E, D, that is given in choice four. Then question number 48. Now in this question number 48, if in each of the given words, each of the consonant is changed to previous letter. Consonant is changed to previous letter here in this one, F. Consonant and a vowel is changed to the next letter. Vowel next letter, consonant previous letter. Now vowel is B. Here vowel is B. Vowel to vowel. Next letter, I is J. For E it is F. For O it is P. Vowels next letter. And the consonants previous letter. Consonant previous letter, this will be E and R, Q and here C. For C it is B, for T it is S, for B it is A and for D it is C and for D it is C and Y it is X and next one for C it is B, isn't it? And for W it is previous letter. What is the previous letter here? V is the previous letter. Then in how many words the spawn will no appear, no vowels appear at all. Now in this one there is a vowel, in this one no vowel, in this one no vowel, and in this one no vowel. Hence you know how many of the words we do not have any vowels here? 
Now in three of the words, we do not have any vowels. That is choice five. Done? 48. Then question number 49. The positions of the first and the second alphabets of each of the words are interchanged. Which of the following will form a meaningful? One and two are interchanged. If you interchange the first one and the second one, and U, F, R, now it is not a word, and C, A, T, C, A, T, S, it is a word, and I, B, D, it does not form a word, and Y, D, E, it also does not form a word, and O, C, and W, this also does not form a word. Then what is your answer here? Now, X. And so what is your answer here? X. That is given in choice one. Then question number 15. How many letters are there in the English alphabetical series between the second letter of the word which is second from the right? Second from the right, what is the word here? Die. Now what is the second letter in this one? Y. The second letter in that one is Y. And the third letter of the word which is second from the left. Second from the left, what is that word here? Act. Now what is the third letter here? T. Then how many letters are there in between these two? U, V, W and X are the four letters we have in between T and Y. Four letters that is given in choice three. Done with this question number 46 to 50, then 51 onwards. Now in question number 51, among five people A, B, C, D and E, each having different number of chocolates. So as the second lowest number of chocolates. Now the question is about what? Now the question is about 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now the question is about the second lowest. Second lowest means now we need to find out the person who will be at the fourth place. Then B has less chocolates than only one person. Now this B has less than only one person which implies that B must be at the second place. B has less than only one person means only one person is having more chocolates than B. A has more chocolates than C. A is having more than C but less than D. But less than D, D does not have the maximum. As D cannot be here, then what is the only possibility here? D, A, C and the person who is left over is E. Then who is the person who is having the second lowest here? A. That is given in choice 3. Question number 51, the order is A, B, D, A, C. Then question number 52, R has only two sons B and K. Now this R is having how many sons? Two sons B and K. R has only two sons B and K. B is the husband of G. As B is the husband of G, B is a male and G is a female. L is the mother-in-law of G. L is the mother-in-law of G means L is the mother-in-law of G. G's spouse's mother is L. L is the mother-in-law of G and S. L is the mother-in-law of G and S which implies that and S is the wife of K and L is the mother-in-law of G and S. Q is the son of S. Q is the son of whom? Q is the son of S. Now B and K are siblings to each other. How is R related to Q? Now Q's father is Q, father's father, father's father is grandfather. Grandfather that is given in choice 5. Now question number 52, choice 5. Then tell me what is what about question number 53. Now 53 to 57. Now these five questions are based on coding and decoding. Now in this coding and decoding there are some four statements. Then compare the first and the second if you observe here. Prepare and success soon. Then what is the word which is common between these two? Prepare is the only word which is common. As prepare is the only word which is common between these two. Then tell me what is the code common here? T and DJ. DJ is the code which is common. And the code to the word prepare is DJ. Prepare is DJ. Then similarly in the remaining, there is no word at all. The next one. Compare the first one and the third one. If you compare the first and the third, end success soon. End success soon. And soon is the only word which is common between these two. Then tell me what is the code common between these two. Now T and LY access. LY is the code which is common and the code to the word soon is ly isn't it then compare the first one and the fourth one end and success what is the word which is common here success is the word which is common as success is the word which is common then tell me what is the code common here tn is common and the code to the word success is tn then now in the first statement what is the word left over here end is the word left over and what is the code left over here excess and the code to the word end is excess isn't it? Then compare the second and the third. If you compare these two second and third, now for results. As what is the word which is common here? Result is the word which is common between these two. As results is the word which is common. Then what is the code common here? MR is the code common. And the code to the word results is MR. 
if results is MR, now and for are the two words left over. Now for is the word which is common between these two. As for is the word which is common between these two, then what is the code here? PS, MR, ZN. PS is the code which is common. Hence in the next one, now is the word left over and what is the code to the this word now? Now is JT. Now is JT. Then compare the third one and the fourth one. R and weighted and no word is repeated here. Hence what are the codes to these two? R and weighted the codes to these two words could be could be BK and RF in any order. And similarly, two more words are left over. What are those words here? Results. Now in this one, results, what is the code to this word results here? Results is MR. Then what is the left over? Important is the word left over. Then what is the code to this word important here? Important is ZN. Now these are the words and their corresponding codes. Then question number 53, which of the following represents the code for success now? Yes, what is the code to the word success here? The code to the word success is TN and now. And where is now here? Now is JT. TN, JT in any order. TN, JT that is given in choice to. Then question number 54, which of the following may represent the code for results and stress? Results, what is the code to this word result here? Result is MR and end. What is the code to this word end? End is XS, MR, XS and stress. And the code to the word stress is stress. Is there any word stress here? There is no word stress. Hence MR, XS and MR, XS choice 2 cannot be here. MR, XS, this can be your choice, isn't it? And choice 5. And so many choices, it, there is possibility here. 1, 3 and 5. Or Davis tell me whether choice 1 can be your answer or not. MR, XS, UI. Can UI be the code to the word stress or not? Yes. UI could be the code to the word stress because UI is nowhere present in any one of these codes. Hence it is the code. Next one. If you compare third one. Now MR, XS here. Can LY be the code for stress? LY cannot be the code because LY is the code to the word soon. It cannot be the code for stress. Hence choice 3 is ruled out. Then in choice 5, and MR, XS, and TN. Can TN be the code to the word stress here? Now TN is the code to the word success, since it cannot be the code to the word stress. Then what is your answer here? Only one alone. And question number 54, choice one. Then question number 55. Now in this 55, what does the code RF stands for in the given code language? The code RF stands for what? Either R, R results, R, R weighted. R, R weighted, that is choice 4. Then question number 56, what is the code for soon? The code to the word soon is LY. Now this LY that is given in choice 1. Then 57, question number 57, what is the code for the word important? Yes, tell me what is the code to the word important here? Important is ZN, that is given in choice 2. Now this is about question numbers 53 to 57. It is based on coding and decoding. Then 58, 58 to 62. Now it is based on circular arrangement. P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, and W are seated around a circular table. In total, we are having eight persons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight persons are seated around a circular table with equal distance between each other facing the center. P sits second, facing the center clearly given. P sits second to the right of V. Now I am fixing V at this place. P sits a second to the right of V. Only two people between P and W. As only two people between P and W, tell me how many possibilities do we have? W can be to the immediate left of V or what is the other possibility to this W? There are two persons between P and W. V is here. P is here. Two persons between P and W. W can be here. There are two possibilities to this P, W. And R sits a second to the left of W. As R is seated second to the left of W in case one R is here, and in case to R sits second to the left of W, R must be adjacent to this P. And only three people between W and U. Now among these eight persons, three persons in between is nothing but they are opposite to each other. And so W and U are opposite to each other. Here also W and U are opposite to each other. Q sits to the immediate left of S. As Q is to the immediate left of S, now in this one Q is to the immediate left of S, this is the only possibility. But as here, we cannot have Q and S in two successive places, isn't it? Hence case one is ruled out. Now we are left with only case two. Now in this case two, who is the person left over here? P, Q, R, S, T is the person left over. T must be to the immediate right hand side of R. 
then question number 58 who among the following who among the following represent the immediate neighbors of b immediate neighbors of b who are those two persons i send you that is choice one then question number 59 four of the following five is nothing but an odd one out then which of the following does not belong to that group r and v yes whatever this r and v here r is to the third right of v and q and q is what q and r now q and r q is third to the right of r v and w now in between v and w v is third to the right of w and u is third to the right of s is false because between u and s is exactly one person and between w and p there are two persons except in choice four and in the remaining four choices there are two persons in between these two but whereas in choice four there is only one person that is choice four then question number 60 which of the following statements is it true with respect to t as per the given information t is an immediate neighbor of q is false one person between t and u that is also false because there are two persons in between, in between t and u p sits out to the right of t p is seated out to the right of t is false because p is second to the left of t and three people between t and v three people between t and v is definitely true then what is your answer here choice four then question number 61 who among the following sits second to the right of u seated second to the right of u is r r that is given in choice two then question number 62 if all the persons are made to sit in alphabetical order in clockwise direction starting from p starting from p alphabetical order now this is p q r s now s and s remain at the same place t u v w s so how many persons here there is only one person who remain at the which of the following is true and there is only one person who remain at the same place and it is given in choice two s is the only person remained at the same place all the remaining persons were changed now this is about question number 62 then 63 now 63 to 65 only three questions are based on these coded inequalities now in this question number 63 the relation between t and d t is here d is here tell me what is the symbol which is common greater than is common t greater than d definitely true next one n and r now between n and r forget about this equal to n lesser than r equals to r definitely true then what is your answer here both the conclusions follow it is choice one is the answer then question number 64 now e and r now between e and r which is similar is common lesser than is common hence e lesser than r is definitely true and the next one o and c now between o and c c is here and o is here as yes, tell me which element is common here c lesser than o o greater than c but is lesser than r equals to is false and so only conclusion one is true only conclusion one that is given in choice four then question number 65 now in this question number 65 between t and n there is one greater than one lesser than two opposite symbols no relation and coming to condition conclusion two i and m m is here i is here between m and i which is symbol is common here greater is common m greater than i is true i lesser than m is true but is i greater than m is false and so neither one nor two that is given in choice three done with this now this is about question number 31 to 65 in paper number 77 is done with this paper next number series question numbers 96 to 100 now in this question numbers 96 to 100 tell me what is the information given here now in the following number series only one number is wrong and find out that wrong number then yes find out the wrong number tell me question number 96 what is the answer here 96 now in this 96 then what is your answer now 22 33 66 99 and 121 5 plus 4 9 and 594 except 279 all the remaining numbers are multiples of 11 11 into 2 11 into 3 11 into 6 11 into 9 11 into 11 but it's here 279 is not divided by 11 297 is divided by 11 but it is not 279 and 594 and 5 and 4 11 54 is 594 and so what is your number here except 279 all the remaining numbers are multiples of 11 clear now multiples of 11 then question number 97 now in this question number 97 s that is s any answer to this one 97 
97. Yes, done? Now, question number 97. Earlier, we had discussed about this one. The number 36 to 54, number increased. 54 to 18 decreased. Again, 27 number increased. 9 decreased. That means the numbers are increasing and decreasing. Whenever the numbers are increasing and decreasing, it must be under alternate series. Fine. Now, check out the alternate series 36, 18, 9, and 4.5. How can you relate this one? 36 divided by 2 is 18, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5, isn't it? Now coming to the remaining numbers. 54 divided by 2 is 27. 27 divided by 4, what should be the number here? 13.5. Here what is given? 18.5. That is the wrong number. Clear? And see here it must be 13.5, but whereas here it is given as 18.5, that is the wrong number. Hence whenever the numbers are increasing and decreasing, again the numbers is, okay? If it is a longer series, it comes under alternate series. Check out for the alternate numbers. Then question number 98. Now in this question number 98, now if you observe here the numbers are increasing at a very smaller rate. 582, then 582, 582, what is the difference between these two here? 582 and 605, the difference between these two is how much? 82 to 18 plus 5 is 23 is the first difference. Next one 605 and 588. 605 and 588 means 12 plus 5 17. 7 minus 17 is the next one. First difference is plus 23. Next one is minus 17. 588. 12 plus 11. Here it is plus 23. Next one 11 and 34. And 11 and 34, what is the number here? Now plus 23, minus 17, plus 23. Next one must be minus 17. Now if you subtract 17 from this one, 11 will go and 6 will also go. It will be 594. If 594 is here, 594 and 617. And 17 plus 6, it is 23. And the next one, minus 17. Alternately, 23 added, 17 separate, plus 23, minus 17, plus 23, minus 17. Then what is the wrong number here? 634 is the wrong number, and 594 is the correct number. Done with this? Now again, once again. Now 582, 605, 588, 611, and after this, 634, tell me the numbers, 634, 617, and 600. Again, if you observe here, now how many numbers are there, 5, 6, 7, it is a longer series. And 582, number increased to 605, decreased to 588, increased to 611, decreased, and so on, isn't it? And the numbers are increasing and decreasing, it must be under alternate. Then what is the series here, 582 plus 6 is 588. 588 plus 6 must be how much? 594. This is what we got it as 594. And 594 plus 6, 600. And the remaining numbers. 605 plus 6 is 611. 611 plus 6 is 670. Then what is the wrong number here? Wrong number is 634. You can work out in either of these two ways. And question number 99. Now in this question number 99, tell me what is the answer here? Now the numbers are in the decreasing order. Whenever the numbers are in the decreasing order, we should always start in the reverse order, isn't it? Now if you start in the reverse order, 1 and 2. 1 into 2 is 2, isn't it? 1 into 2 is 2. Then 2 and 24, tell me what is the relation between these two here, 2 and 24. And 2 and 24, it is into 12 and 24. And 48, 48 and 384, tell me what is the relation between these two, 48 and 384. 48 into how much? 48 into 80 is 384. 384 into 10. Next one, this is into 12. Isn't it? 12, 10, 8, and the previous one must be 4, and this must be into 6, this must be into 4. 1 into 2 is 2, 2 into 4, 8, 8 into 6 is 48. Then what is the wrong number here? 24 is the wrong number, and the correct number is 8. Done with this? Now these numbers are multiplied with into 2, into 4, into 6, into 8, into 10, from right hand side to left hand side. Now in the regular pattern left to right, divided by 12, divided by 10, divided by 8, divided by 6, divided by 4 and so on. Then question number 100. Now in this question number 100, if you update here, all the numbers are what? Cubes. 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, 4 cube, 6 cube, 7 cube. Here 5 cube. 5 cube is 125. Here it is given as 124. That is the wrong number. Leonor? 